2018 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT. As I weaved up the Sawmill River Parkway away from the hustle and bustle of Manhattan, I couldn't help but let a smug little smirk cross my face. For I was piloting the Mercedes AMG GTR, the most extreme sports car ever to come out of AMG's headquarters in Affolterbach, Germany, and I was among the first to drive it on American roads. All in a day's work, sure, but some days are better than others. But the smirk that crawled across my lips only appeared when I realized I was being followed. By a man driving a brand spanking new Porsche 911 Turbo who appeared to have a serious case of buyer's remorse by the way he was drooling over the red-hot bands. For a second, I almost felt bad for the gay. That is, until I dropped two gears, engaged the active exhaust, and pulled away in cacophony of the 8 fury and exhaust runoff. See you later, sucker. It seems the beast from the green hell, as AMG's engineers have affectionately named their latest Telashi creation after the fitting nickname for the Nurburgring Nordslife, had brought out some type of beast in V2, but it takes a certain type of car to make even a Porsche buyer question his purchase. This, my dear readers, is definitely that car. While BMW and Porsche usually get most of the credit for established racing programs, and even Audi has cemented themselves as an endurance and rally racing powerhouse in the last three decades, no German manufacturer has a longer racing history than Mercedes-Benz, and if anything, they've been the most successful as of late. Hell, they've won the last three Formula One Constructors' Championships handedly, using a new engine technology that swept away the competition when the entire sport switched to turbocharged V6 engines in 2014. In fact, that technology truly did find its way into a road car, as the 4.0-liter Biturbo V8 and the AMG GT sports car line uses the same layout, two turbos mounted between the V of the engine block for a design called the Hot Inside V, which improves engine packaging and the responsiveness of the turbos by placing them closer to the point of ignition. This racetrack to road example is only a taste of what AMG is all about, and the GTR contains the most racing tech they've ever packed into a production car, bar none. For starters, the GTR is 1.8 inches wider than the regular GT, thanks to its body kit that helps incorporate more aerodynamic elements and wider tires to keep both downforce and grip to a maximum. There's even a carbon fiber deployable splitter, operating out of sight behind the front fascia, that keeps the front end planted to the ground in high-speed driving, applying 88.2 pounds of downforce at 155 miles per hour. And all of those intake and exhaust vents you see all over the body? You bet your ass they're functional, maximizing the cooling power and lowering the coefficient of drag dramatically. It all culminates, both functionally and visually, in the rear spoiler, which is mechanically adjustable and entirely necessary at the top end of the GTR's speed range. Speaking of which, it's not just aerodynamics that have been improved. That the turbo V8 I mentioned earlier gets a boost as well to 577 horsepower and 516 pounds foot, and since it's responsible for hauling around only 3,428 pounds of bands, the pounds per horsepower ratio is only 5.94, best in its class of track-ready sports cars. But on the off chance you're in the market for one of these bad boys and have no intention of taking it on a race track, I have some good news, the AMG GTR is absolutely menacing to look at. I've said before that Mercedes designers absolutely nailed the looks of the GT, and as it turns out, adding more to what was already an excellent design hasn't ruined the integrity of it. The spoiler, while often catchy looking in the years since Too Fast Too Furious, ugh, only adds to the drama of the sleek machine, and it's still true that everything looks better with fender flares and bigger intakes. Finished in a bright red, I can count on one hand the cars that drew more attention out on the road than this one, or in the parking lot of the IMSA Northeast Grand Prix at Lime Rock Park in Connecticut, for that matter. At a race where everyone brings out their garage queen for the weekend, the parade of GTRs drew more photos, thumbs up, 
and questions them just about anything else on the lawn. Mission accomplished, Mercedes.